The chances are that when you hear the word Bitcoin mining, your mind instantly creates the image of a man with a shovel or a machete in hand doing some hardcore manual labour. You'd be surprised to know that your depiction isn't that far off. In today's YouTube video, we will be talking about the largest Bitcoin mine in the world and how it makes more than $100,000 on an everyday basis. Bitcoin mining is a process that not only creates and adds new Bitcoins into circulation, but is also an essential element of maintaining transactions on the blockchain ledger. Sophisticated and high-powered computers carry out this task of solving computational math problems because these tend to be so complex that they are impossible to solve by hand, but at times can even confuse the most powerful of computers. Although this process is meticulous, costly, and occasionally rewarding, mining is one of the only ways to make Bitcoin without putting up money for it, as miners are rewarded for every new block added. The reward of BTC is offered to miners as an incentive to ensure the legitimacy of the whole operation. Miners act like auditors and put in the work to verify whether a Bitcoin transaction is legit or not. This process occurs in two steps. Firstly, when the miners solve these extensive mathematical problems, they authenticate the transaction, maintaining the sanctity and trustworthiness of the Bitcoin network, and simultaneously, new Bitcoin is being developed and added to the network. For a successful mining operation and to create a blockchain network that keeps growing, many extremely high quality and latest computer equipment is a necessity that is a considerable investment. To combat these issues, mining farms are established. A mining farm is usually set up in a space like a large warehouse filled with all essential mining equipment equipment and proper temperature control systems and air conditioning to prevent these systems from heating up to have a smooth working experience. With the rapid rise in the popularity of cryptocurrencies and a rising number of crypto investors, more and more mining farms are being constructed all across the globe to take advantage of this modern day gold rush. Every 10 minutes, a prize of six and a quarter bitcoins is released, so naturally the more computer power you have have on your side, the more your chances are of getting lucky. Founded in 2014 by Marco Streng and with a hash rate of 1000 GH, Genesis Mining Farm in Reykjavik, Iceland is the world's largest cloud mining company. Enigma is located two miles from the Reykjavik airport by an abandoned World War II airstrip in a series of massive metal buildings. Within just a tiny period of six months, Streng transformed this abandoned building into the world's largest grossing crypto mine. This area of 400 square meters is now home to tens and thousands of GPUs that work flat around the clock to carry out the exhaustive task of BTC mining and reportedly make a whirring sound as high as that of a jet taking off when they are working in their full flow. In addition to the cold temperatures of Iceland, hundreds and thousands of fans that blast cold air and six gigantic ceiling turbines that spin with a force of 260 washing machines are needed to keep the computer equipment at an adequate working temperature. These measures are necessary because any interruption or burnout in the equipment can lead to disturbances in the working process, putting millions of dollars at stake. No wonder the electrical bills at Enigma run more than $1 million every month, as this facility consumes more electrical power than all of the houses in Iceland combined. Mind. The country's unique geography is another factor in making it the most appropriate place to establish mining farms. It is located at the cusp of two tectonic plates moulded by volcanic terrains, surrounded by glacial waters and huge aquamarine lakes. The more than sufficient supply of water and abundant geothermal heat energy helps facilitate the intensive procedure of mining with negligible carbon emission. Even then, many people argue that the greedy and all-power-hungry appetite of the cryptocurrency world will affect the pristine wilderness of Iceland. Another factor contributing to Iceland becoming the hub of cryptocurrency is the country's bankruptcy issue in the credit crunch of 2008. The only source of income for the country was fishing. Since then, it has welcomed all innovative and new tech industries like the Bitcoin industry, which has become one of the main reasons why Iceland is making it to global news. 
lives. Running and maintaining such an enormous institution that makes more than $100,000 daily is not an easy job. With individual bitcoins trading at thousands of dollars and each computing unit costing a few thousand dollars to purchase and install, the technicians over at Enigma literally have zero room for any failure as it puts the tens and thousands of pounds of assets at risk. For this reason, the facility also has a stringent all day, all night security system, which has doubled after the $2 million heist that occurred a few years back in 2017. One dark winter night, the data center was broken into and nearly 550 Bitcoin computers, along with their motherboards, graphic cards, power accessories, and all additional hardware were stolen. In a country with an almost non-existent crime rate, this was the fifth time a cryptocurrency centre in Iceland had become a target in only two months. It is noteworthy that the equipment used at such mining farms is unlike any standard gear that we use daily at home or work. Each PC has a mainboard to which six graphics processing units are plugged, which are incredibly efficient in solving the intense hashing problems. A market level GPU can execute about 3,200 BIT instructions per clock, which is 800 times more than the average CPU, which can execute only 432 BIT instructions per clock. Companies like Genesis obtain these units directly from the manufacturers, as it is challenging to arrange thousands of GPUs and stay cost efficient in such a competitive marketplace. For their facility Enigma in Iceland, Genesis has developed a dedicated smart hardware management software called Genesis Hive. This software is crucial to the proper functioning and maintenance of the entire institute, because if only a tiny part of the giant mining system undergoes an issue, then technicians cannot simply roam around with a screwdriver in hand checking thousands of computers, each paired with six GPUs, to find that one dodgy wire. This software also gives recommendations for hardware updates whenever necessary, and indicates when any area of the facility crosses crosses the desired temperature range. So the question remains, what is the future of the Bitcoin industry? It is estimated that by 2141, the last Bitcoin run limited to 21 million coins will have been mined. This inbuilt scarcity is one of the primary reasons why this currency holds such a high marketplace and is expected to double in value in the coming years. Those who invest in it now are bound to be holders of considerable fortunes in the not-so-distant future. With its chilly climate, easy and cheap ways to attain energy, and a largely flexible and open-minded political scene, Iceland appears to remain a relevant major player in the world of cryptocurrency for quite some time.